A lot of people across the nation are eagerly awaiting the solar eclipse set to take place one week from today. Folks will be able to get a rare glimpse of the total solar eclipse. So what can people do to prepare for this exciting event in the sky? Derek Pitts is the chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute, and he joins me now from my old stomping grounds, Philadelphia. Derek, thanks so much for being with us. Um, okay, first off, the basic safety. How and where people can safely watch this rare event? Well, Stephanie, you can safely watch the event anywhere you can see the sun. As long as you can see the sun, you have a good vantage point for being able to see this event. Now, as far as safety is concerned, there are two ways to do this. There's the indirect method in which you project an image of the sun on a wall using a covered mirror. That's one way to do it. You would uh, just take a regular flat mirror, mask it over with uh, construction paper, cut a circle out, and then catch some light from the sun, send that over to a wall, and look at the progress that way. Hmm. You could also make a pinhole projector sort of a thing. And then finally, the other thing that you would do is you could do it in a direct method, but you have to have properly approved solar viewing viewers, like uh, something like this, for example. This kind of card will allow you to look at the sun directly because it has very special filter material on it that reduces the sun's light by 99.98%. You have to have that kind of uh, reduction in brightness to make it safe. Yeah, and of course, we've been doing some stories here at CBS and, uh, about how there's some fake ones out there, so make sure it's the real thing. All right, I understand, Derek, there is only a really narrow path to view the total eclipse. What is it, 14 states? Do we have to travel to see this? Well, unless you're, uh, unless you're in one of those 14 states, then uh, you do have to travel. I mean, you've got, you've got to get there to see this. And uh, the, the path is uh, 70 miles wide in some places, only 70 miles wide in some places. But if you can manage to get yourself to that path of totality, you can see a really spectacular uh, event. If you can't get there, though, you can still see the partial phases of the event directly if you use one of the methods we just talked about. And, of course, this event is probably going to be the most followed event on any sort of social media of any in the history of of social media. So you <laughs> will be able to see live streams uh, anywhere you want to take a look. I, I was on the Franklin Institute's website just a minute ago and, and it was described a, a solar eclipse as being one of sort of the most extraordinary astronomical events that you can see from Earth. So in your professional opinion, Derek, is it worth it to go to one of those 14 states to see this event? Well, Stephanie, the way I would say it is that you should not leave this planet without having seen a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse. I mean, this really is a spectacular event. It's rare that we get to see the actual mechanics of the solar system at work. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know about the Earth's rotation on its axis and all that sort of stuff, but this is a situation in which we can actually watch the moon as it crosses between the Earth and the sun, and we get to stand in the shadow, too. So if you can get there, you should definitely make the trip. Derek Pitts, thank you so much. Thanks, Stephanie. And a quick reminder, CBS will have live coverage on Monday, August 21st, to bring you the latest on the eclipse as it happens.